first things first, I want to say welcome to 2024. Now, let me tell you why 2024 is not going to be your year. You continue to do the same things and continue to get the same results. You're going to be constantly distracted, whether that's through social media, significant other, or just maybe even your job, just wasting your time. As we progress in life, we need to constantly be learning. So if you don't implement new things, you're going to get the same results. So some of you may ask, why am I all of a sudden hopping back on the YouTube grind again? I'm sure some of you may have taken a look at some of my past videos and you know, this is something for sure totally different than what I used to film. And the reason for that is because I want to now share my experiences with you guys as an audience, as well as teach people what I have learned from my mentors, as well as the mistakes that I have made, so you guys don't make those as well. Time being your most valuable asset is crucial. So for instance, me, I didn't have someone who was teaching me how to run my agency or my production company. I had to figure out everything on my own. But the main point of this channel is to teach lessons as well as stuff where I've struggled in the past. So you don't. 2023 was a year of learning and honestly trying new things. So I launched Private Production Inc. this year. It just became a corporation after a few months being in the business. Making my business legit was a huge thing for me before 2024. During 2023, I lost a lot of friends and I separated myself as well as I made a ton of new friends which are ones who are gonna actually help me grow. I feel like that's very important when you're on your entrepreneurship journey to really know who is in your corner and who is on the other corner, you know, who doesn't want you to win. I for sure learned that this year, 2023, or well, the previous year of 2023. We grew a lot. I mean, Private Productions Inc. became legit and the company's only been around a year. Even though we did do our first six figure year with Private Productions Inc., honestly, it was very sloppy. Private Productions Inc is a production company that strictly focuses on video and content creation. AIM Creatives, the marketing agency where we actually advertise or uh, manage our clients' social media accounts. So the thing was that I was really jumping all over the place. Private Productions Inc. at one point was doing email marketing campaigns. So that it didn't really make sense. This year I really learned how to funnel down my businesses as well as just make sure that everything runs smooth. I had my team members that were in AIM creatives doing stuff for private productions. So it, there wasn't a good flow and it was just super messy, which I'm glad I learned that in my first year of business. I really learned the fundamentals of business. So reaching out to clients, maintaining clients, as well as just giving them quality product because you can be doing so much volume, which at one point we were doing a ton of volume, but we weren't priced correctly. We were priced super, super cheap. We are forever students, so you need to constantly be learning. If you're not learning, then you're getting left behind. That's one thing I also learned in 2023, especially with new artificial intelligence softwares that we are now implementing into our businesses. A lot of my clients aren't even using AI in their emails just to save them time. Uh, the other day, actually, my, my mom's assistant principal so she writes a lot of like emails to parents. My mom was putting a lot of time and effort into these emails. I showed her a software where she can now double down on her work and not focus on all these parents. A lot of people that I've noticed, not even just our clients, aren't doing this. So those people were getting left behind. And if you're getting left behind, it's just not gonna look good for you in the future. In 2023, I really didn't have a direction. I kind of just hustled. <laughs> And I just did everything at one point. I was doing email marketing, Facebook ads, shooting videos, doing graphics, posting social media content. It was so messy. I went from no employees at the beginning of the year to now having five. 2024, I really, or mid-2023, I should say, I really noticed that I was just shooting random and I didn't exactly know exactly where I was shooting. I was just kind of spray and pray, I guess they say. And what I've taught myself is to implement a schedule, something that I can go based off of to grow both companies, the marketing agency as well as the production company, such as waking up, getting all my uh, client calls done in the morning, and then throughout the rest of the day doing the rest of the work that I have to do. So for sure, implementing a schedule has helped me a lot. When I started doing this, I really noticed where the weak points in the businesses were and I was able to problem solve and those, well, we don't have those problems anymore. Now we're just growing, which is great because before when I was just doing everything, 
I never realized what I was actually doing wrong. I kind of just figured the harder I work, then I'll get better results. But that's not true because that's only ha well, that's only half true because you have to work smart as well as work hard. And if you're not noticing this, even outside of a business standpoint, whether it's a fitness standpoint, if you're just constantly doing the same thing, not getting results, obviously you should try something different. My last tool that has helped me tremendously as far as growth is looking back at 2023, seeing where I spent a lot of my time and where I didn't spend as much time, and now deciphering where exactly does this time need to be spent here? Does this time need to be spent here? Does it need to be even? So now I can time manage better as well as now I know where I'm putting my effort. And this pertains to not only work, but also the people that I hang out with. So that's why in the beginning of this video, I stated that I lost a lot of friends. However, I also did make a lot of honestly stronger friends that will help me down in the future. So yes, 2024 will be your year. It will not, however, if you don't change. Change is hard for a lot of people, but the world is constantly going forward and change is happening every day. So don't get left behind. I look forward to producing more content as well as seeing your progress of 2024. Make a plan, stick to it, and I will see you guys in the next video.